Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing at the man. She's always got some plays for you today. An offense, a full offensive scheme out of the Niners playbook. A couple of weeks ago, I put out a couple of videos about the strong close uh, out of the Niners, which a lot of people uh, suggest is one of the meta offenses uh, in Madden 21. Obviously, since then, there's been a patch. Um, so I wanted to release an updated version, a full version with all the plays, which up till now was only available on my Patreon or on my Join Now community tab. Uh, if you guys want to check those out, links in the description or hit the join button. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys a, a full breakdown of this, running plays and passing plays. It's probably like 10 plays in all that I'm going to go over in this uh, video. Uh, and I'm also going to go over uh, some updated stuff since obviously the uh, the patch really changed how a lot of the cover three beaters that I showed in that original video uh, were. So if you want a full updated version, uh, I'm going to have that in this video. If you guys want to see more stuff out of this, out of the Niners, as always, do me a favor, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Uh, but other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. Now this, I mean, this formation without a doubt is loaded. Uh, and if you've, if you bought my eBooks uh, since the beginning of the year, whether it's the Raiders or the Niners in particular, because they both have a very good, strong close. I think the Packers might as well. I've had plays in this formation. I've been a big fan of this formation since the beginning of the year. But like I said, I just didn't want to touch on it because I already saw so many other people doing stuff from it. But I'm going to show you guys my personal uh, plays from this. Uh, maybe maybe it's the same as the ones that are already out. I couldn't. I don't really know. Like I said, I really don't know how people are running this formation. I'm just going to show you guys how I personally would run it. Uh, but let's, like I said, let's go and let's get right into the run plays. Because to me, the run plays, this is definitely one of the better running formations in the game. Uh, it's also a very good passing formation. That's why everybody likes it. Because you can make something out of every single play. Every single play in this formation can be a money play. So let's go and let's start by putting this into the, the uh, into the audibles here. We're going to put the first play, the halfback zone week's already in there. I'll put the halfback dive in there. Um, just, you know, that's just something that's good to have. The quick toss we'll put in there. And then the uh, the fourth play is, without a doubt, the halfback off tackle. This is one of the better ones. And then the last one, the fifth play that I'm going to select is going to be the counter week. Now, before I get into the video, as always, this video is brought to my coin sponsor, MOXP.com. If you guys want to get some coins for your Mutt team, which is dropping some really high-powered cards right now, uh, make sure to check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off other than that let's get into the reads now the halfback dive i specifically have that in my reads if i see a look like this where i have a huge gaping hole right over the middle this is probably one of the only scenarios where i'm going to use that because there is a hole there even though he got off the block the three main plays though in this are going to be the counter which is the one i'm on right now uh the quick toss and the halfback off tackle those are going to be the three main ones the, the zone week's not too bad either a zone week like in a scenario like this the zone week is going to be a pretty good one you can see we had a gap uh right where that zone week play is going although i ran to my own guy he probably cost me like five yards but without a doubt those are going to be the three main plays the counter i could have ran that as well um this is going to be like i said to me this is a little bit more of an explosive version uh of the same play that i just showed my two personal favorite plays are probably Probably the counter uh, and the zone week. I like to go opposite of where my opponent's going to be thinking that I'm going. Most people are going to expect you to go to the tight end side, to the fullback side, and there's definitely some good plays. A uh, play like this here looks like we have a cover three because uh, that cornerback is going to drop back. So a toss play is going to be a really good play. As you can see, I mean, we just seal that edge uh, and then we can get outside. So the toss, uh, although I really wasn't expecting the blocking that I got down the field as the receivers got down to the safeties, uh, did a really good job there. But you can see how explosive that can be. So that's definitely going to be one of the more explosive plays. Like I said, I, I did identify it as a cover three. This here might be a man coverage, but if it's a cover three or a cover four where the cornerback uh, drops back immediately into coverage, the toss is going to give you one of the better opportunities. Here you can see this was a man, and that's why he basically came down and cut that off. So it's really all about what the defense is that your opponent is running. Uh, when it comes to the zone weak, though, or the counter, you're really just looking for that gap. You're not really looking for a specific coverage. But if you're running outside, whether it's going to be the uh, the halfback off tackle or the quick toss it's really coverage based so a, a play like this this almost looks like a cover two once again the cornerback's going to play down not necessarily the best look so you really want to make sure that you're looking for uh, a specific uh, gap or a specific coverage when it comes to these plays like you can see right there if i have some spacing i'm typically going to go counter 
So like I said, if I see a huge gap like right there, defensive end, way off to the left defensive from the defensive tackle, obviously on the other side, you know, if I try to run it to the other side, the uh, the off tackle, I'm going to be running right into, you know, no real gaps. So I'm really first looking for gaps to decide if I want to run one of these counter runs. And if that's not there, then I'm typically going to go um, looking at coverage. What's the coverage? That's my second read. So like I said, the, the pecking order to me, I love the counter play. Uh, the quick toss is going to be a good play, but it's coverage specific. Uh, the halfback zone weak is is probably uh, one of the better plays, uh, as you can see. I mean, we can you know basically it's just like a counter play. There's just no delayed reaction, and there's no real read either. The counter play, there's a read. You have to read the defensive end. That play you don't. When it comes to running the counter play, and I'm going to force it here even though this isn't really the look, um, you really got to read that defensive end. You can see we still had success there. I'll go to the uh, the replay to show you what I'm looking for when it comes to making the read, which is, like I said, you don't have to do this on the on the zone weak play. But you have to read this defensive end. If he stops like he does here, you got to go inside of him. So I'm going to go to show one pass play for this video. Uh, and that's going to be a man-beating play, which is the wide receiver out. This route that the wide receiver out is running, uh, the red route there, um, is a speed-out route. It's one of the harder uh, routes to stop when it comes to man coverage. Whether it's man zero, man cover one, or man cover two, this play here is going to be one of the most unstoppable if you get the timing down. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, I wish I could go random man, but we're just going to go we're going to pick uh, man cover two to start. So this play here, I mean, it's really all about this speed out route. If you throw this on timing, it doesn't really matter what you're facing. Uh, if you time this pass correctly, you're going to get this receiver open every time. And all you're really doing is throwing it immediately in the break. If you throw it too early or too late, it could easily be an interception. If I throw this ball, you know, before he gets to that point, you can see that I'm throwing an interception. If I throw it after the fact, if I hold it for too long and I give that cornerback an opportunity to flip his hips and turn around, you can see it's going to be an interception. So it's all about timing. And that timing is, without a doubt, when he makes that break. If you throw it in that break, he will be open every single time. I don't care if it's Deion Sanders or, you know, whoever. Whoever it is on that side of the ball covering that receiver or who, are you, who you have, you're going to get it open. That timing there was a little bit off. But you can see I'm going to get that every time. So if it's man cover one, man cover two, I always safe catch two because I think it's just best to do that. Now, if you're going against a man zero or something like that, and you have like an open sideline like I have here, this is an opportunity you can really uh, take advantage and catch this and turn up the sideline. There is opportunities there uh, if your opponent is too aggressive. Uh, but other than that, I typically just like the safe catch. So let's go and let's do this one more time. Like I said, you can try. If you have enough speed, you can try to get past that cornerback, say he misses the tackle, and get an explosive play. Uh, I'm not saying that's necessarily going to happen, but it's definitely an option uh, to try. The only other adjustment I would make is I, on this a play like this was put the b route here on a drag i typically would block these running backs as well especially on a man blitz like i'm selling like i'm setting up for myself right now uh but you can see i mean there's definitely an opportunity if they don't save tackle or say you break that tackle you can be gone on a simple speed out like this so without a doubt one of the one of the better plays to run against man coverage any man coverage and then you have your check down routes also which is your drag uh and even the tight end will get open over the middle so uh but obviously the speed outs the the, the best portion of this play the speed out route uh is the is the play that you're going to be going for but you can see like i'm having success uh with the with the normal uh, i don't know if that's like a post route or what but you can see if you have an aggressive defense you have a lot of options and then last but not least we have a really good man play and that's the double post we're going to pick that uh and then we're just going to go uh cover two man because that's probably the most uh you know that's when everybody runs this play reminds me a lot of the uh, the cover three zone concept or the cover one man concept that I just put out the skinny posts, uh, where essentially the the two outside receivers will get open against either cover one man or cover three pretty much every time. That's the same way that this is against cover two zone because these cornerbacks are never in the way of getting a, a stop on this ball. And it's the same route on both sides, so it doesn't really matter what your opponent wants to try to use her. Uh, you're pretty much going to have success, although there, um, that bullet, that low pass kind of messed me up. The low pass will make it even harder for the computer to defend, uh, but you can see you can have issues if, you, if the throw isn't correct. But like I said, since it's the same route on both sides, the user's never really going to have success stopping it. Uh, and then you can see, like I said, I'm low passing, safe catching. All those things are just going to kick it up a notch, although ultimately you don't really have to do that. You can see I'm having success if I don't 
don't low pass. It's the same thing. So, like I said, no matter what your opponent does, if he's running cover to man, this is going to dot it up, uh, and they're pretty much going to have to leave this coverage because there's really nothing they can do. You can't use your, you know, whichever the dominant route is, you can't use it. Uh, so you're basically just going to be just dotting it up the entire time. You can see there's nothing that really stops in the cover to man. So I'm going to start off with the Y trail. This is definitely one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and let's pick uh, that first. This is pretty much going to, it's going to have a couple different uses, but I'm going to start off with cover two. So to get into this video, like I said, there's a couple different things you can do with this. We have a good man coverage concept here, but I'm going to go ahead and use this as a cover two zone beater. All I really have to do is motion across the A route and put him on a streak, and uh, this X route is going to be gone. I'm going to move the ball over though because you can really be explosive if you run this to the open side of the field. So this is pretty much going to be one of the uh, the easier ways to do it. I can put this B route in a drag too. That will also help out when it comes to pulling this cornerback down. But you're really just waiting for this guy to get just you know a little bit past that cornerback, and all you got to do is bullet and pass it outside for a really explosive one play touchdown. Without a doubt, you know the motion the the tight end across is probably my preferred way. I do think there's people that motion across uh, the receiver when they run this particular series of offensive plays, but I find the tight end uh, just does a little bit better job pulling that uh, safety back. But I'm pretty sure you can do it either way so this play can also be a one play touchdown to cover three but one of the things that's different between this and other cover three one play touchdowns i'm going to show you in this video is you can run this to the short side uh typically you want to run the cover three one play touchdowns to the open side but for some reason in this particular um formation in this particular play you can actually run it to the short side you have to streak the a route you got to motion out the b route and put them on a comeback although i messed that up uh, yeah, put them on a comeback, and this is pretty much all you got to do. And for some reason, if you have enough speed, uh, this A route here can really go right over the top. So, like I said, I'm not sure exactly why this works like this, but it's a really good one-play touchdown now. This might be one of the better ones because all the other ones I'm going to show is I accidentally um, motion this guy out. I mean, I guess I can run it like this. I can put him on a comeback the same, leave that slant, uh, and it's going to have the same effect as you can see. I mean, it still creates that separation. You just need somebody on a comeback. So if you want to keep your, your check down slant, you can do that. You could also do that with the the running back. You know what I mean? Like anybody, really. You can do that with anyone, anyone just to, to you know, whatever for whatever reason, post patch the comeback route is one of the better ways um to to pull those cornerbacks down it's just the way that it is so like i said right here like i said just bullet pass lead away from the free safety uh the center you know the mid -third, third safety you can see you can have an easy one play touchdown on the short side which is like i said that's one of the better ways to do it based off the fact that most one play touchdowns are going to be the open side of the field now now in the original video i said that the uh the deep the pa deep uh, cross which is going to be the play that i try to focus on still because it's still one of the better plays in the game the only difference is obviously uh, the the cover three one play touchdowns and the cover four. I'll go over that as well. Uh, but ultimately, this is going to be um, you know the, the the biggest difference is going to be cover three. All the other setups for the PA deep cross still work. Uh, plays like the PA scissors, the PA deep, and the mesh post will all work uh, the same way. I'm going to show you on this next play. But like I said, it's best to just use the PA deep cross because you can home run just about any defense with the PA deep cross. So let's pick that. We'll go over a couple more of those cover three one play touchdowns after this but let's do this first so cover three sky so once again cover three one play touchdowns from this formation you will have to run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field um it's just the way that the the game is set up now so run a stretch play run a toss play something like that just to get to the uh to the sideline then you're just going to want to streak the a route and streak the x route put the running back on a pass block and i'm also going to slide my protection to the left because i'm going to want to try to move in that direction uh with this defensive end and you can see how this guy here just gets right over the top now i threw that a little bit early but let's go ahead and let's watch the replay to see what happened there because it's really all about what the cornerback does so let's go ahead and let's do that again like i said really easy setup just kind of waiting for that cornerback to hesitate that's all i'm really doing and then you can see right there he's pretty much just gone that cornerback just stops lets that receiver get over the top and you got a really easy glitchy one play touchdown against cover three so watching on the replay one more time just to show you guys when you have what you have to look for really uh is once this guy starts heading up the field you can see this cornerback here starts to lag off once he starts to do that you want to throw you can see he comes to a complete stop which if you throw at this point might be a little bit late because ultimately um this safety here once he comes to a stop this safety here he's communicating in the program with the safety that this safety has to take over that route 
route. And that's why if you if you throw it a little bit late like this when he stops, the safety's going to have time to catch up. So if I go back here, I probably started throwing right around the time that he, uh, you know, that he was starting to slow down because that's really how I want to do it. I want to do it once that cornerback starts to lose interest, and then I throw it because obviously I want to stay ahead of that free safety. And like I said, you can do that with any number of plays here. I find the PA deep is really good, and the mesh post is really good. Those two have the crossing routes needed uh, to make this play happen. All these plays are solid when it comes to uh, one-play touchdowns because the B route here is going to have the exact same effect. It's still crossing, uh, but you can see, I mean, we're, we're going to do the exact same thing. There, it looks like I got going by a couple extra yards doing the exact same thing because the cornerback slows down for the crosser. It's really that simple. They're all going to do that. All these plays are going to have that effect just as long as you run them from the open side of the field. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick the PA deep, and I'll show that. So like I said, pretty much, you know, whatever, whatever play you're in will work. Same setup. I'm just going to block all my running backs, slide my protection, because obviously I might want the ability to uh, to roll in that direction. And you can see we're just having the same effect. So, like I said, it's a real simple setup. Just got to run from the open side of the field. I'm going to show you guys next some good cover three and cover four plays. There's really two that you can use together. The PA deep cross and the PA scissors are two of them. I think there's another one. Yeah, the FL drive. So you really have three plays that are all going to do just about the same thing. Uh, but the difference is, you know, it basically... Basically, between the FL drive and uh, the other play I'm going to show, which is the PA deep cross, is the different receivers are the ones that are hitting the home run. So that's why it's best to use these in conjunction with one another. So let's go ahead and let's put them into the audibles because, like I said, they are pretty much the same. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys the differences. So FL drive, PA deep cross. We'll start off with that next. Uh, we'll go with the, the PA deep cross. And then we're going to start off with cover three zone. Uh, on the defensive side so basically what i was trying to get at with these two plays having essentially the same route but the different receiver is on them is that will really help you to disguise what the home run route is if you really try to mix it up uh, because your opponent might try to uh, follow the crossing route trying to take away the one play touchdown that i'm going to show you uh, which ultimately you know you can um, you know it's going to be a benefit so like i said this play here you can actually home run cover two with that as well which i'll show in a minute but we're going to start off with that it's going to be the exact same setup no matter which play you run uh this play here if it's a cover three you just want to motion out the x route put them on an out route and the smart route them and that's pretty much going to be all she wrote then you just have to wait for this b route to cross the middle and then you can see you have a really easy one play touchdown against cover three like i said you can do that with the other play going the opposite direction so if your opponent, uh, you know, I mean, there's going to be a cover four one play touchdown setup where you motion this receiver out. That's going to be how you home run cover four. So if your opponent is watching the motions of the routes, uh, you can just easily, you know, mix them up by, by you know, switching up the play and changing who the crossing receiver is. And, you know, that'll just keep your opponent on their toes. Against cover four, all we're going to do is put this X route in a drag, and we're going to motion out the opposite receiver this time. You Basically, to beat cover four, you really have to spread this formation out and deflate the left side of the uh, the deep safeties. So that's all we're really going to do. Uh, and then we're just going to wait for this uh, this B route here to get inside of this uh, this strong safety here, and then we, we don't get the completion. But you can see he got passed. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that again, but I am working with Jimmy Garoppolo here, so... You know, we might not be able to complete the, the most spectacular passes in the world based off of who I'm working with. Uh, but you can see without a doubt, we're just going to save catch that because I just didn't have any faith that the rat catch was going to happen. But you can see it's passed. So we're just going to go into the replay here quick. I'm just going to show you guys when to throw the ball. Basically, this guy here, once he crosses the, uh, the, the strong safety, that's when I'm throwing the ball. The second he's inside, you can see he's already passed the cornerback and the safety here. This safety just barely reacts to him, but it's already too late. So basically, once he gets inside, I'm just bullet and passing away. I'm sure if I go back to the quarterback, he's already, he's already ripping it. Uh, but that's it. I'm just watching that receiver once he gets inside of him like he does right there bullet pass lead away and we're just you know switching on and sprinting the space that's all we got to do this play can also have a lot of success against cover two zone if you crawl if you motion across the b route put the x route on a streak and then put the a route on a drag uh, and this is pretty much going to be the look right here uh, and then you just really have to just bullet pass lead to the outside with this b route and you're gonna have success to the outside once again this is another play where you know i can pretty much um, and if I ran this from the open side of the field from the you know the hash mark the right hash mark I could probably get a really good catch and run play, but I'm not really gonna worry about that You can see that we're having success here Although for some reason Jimmy G's floating a lot of balls, but you can see it's getting open So moving on to some man beaters um, this formation or this uh, you know This series of plays really is loaded with them. I showed a man beater yesterday the the uh, angle out 
Uh, I think I might have called the wide receiver out at the time. Uh, but there's some really good plays that you can use. The PA deep cross is one of them, the play that I was just showing. So we'll show that one more time against cover two man. Uh, and you're going to see with no setup at all, um, this X route, because these receivers are so far inside, they get such a good release uh, that this crossing route, this deep crossing route, is going to do a good job and assist about any coverage. Don't really have to do any adjustments, which is nice. You can see he just cooks that inside route. Um, and at any point in time, I can throw that ball. He's going to be open. And you can pretty much run this setup against any defense in the game. If you motion across the B route and put him on a drag, and then put the A route on a streak, uh, you can pretty much run this setup no matter what you're looking at. Whether you're looking at an all out of man blitz like this was, you can just take the drag, um, or the, you know, basically the drag or the crosser is always going to be open. And this is something, like I said, doesn't matter the defense, man or zone, this is going to be a good setup. Just wait till it gets set. And then you're going to see we have a, uh, a look where this uh, this x route especially you can see right here. I mean, the deep crosser, you know, he was open all the way. I probably should have passed lit that up a little bit. I might have been able to hit a touchdown there. But this is something, like I said, this look, this play in particular, obviously, is just a very, um, you know, it's a very hard to stop play. There's a lot of things you can do on a play like this. And like I said, all that man blitz, I'm just going to dump it down to the to the B route. That's always going to be there. The drag is going to be there for the check down. So we're going to do this one more time. The running back, I don't really need that. I can actually do this. I can put him in a swing route if I want. Um, and that will help to pull those coverages down. As you can see, like I said, I'm always looking for that big play. And if it wasn't for that sideline, I would have had another touchdown there. But you can see, I mean, this is something that, you know, it doesn't matter. Man or zone, this is going to have success. Like I said, I could do that swing route there. That just pulls coverage down even more. Gives me a little bit more of an outlet. But I'm always looking for these big plays. I'm always looking for the big play down the field anyway. And then last but not least, this play can also hit a one-play touchdown. It can really glitch out, um, cover four quarters. So we're going to pick that. I put this defense out yesterday. I said it was one of the harder defenses for people to face, but you can really glitch this out. If you motion this guy across here and then put the X route on a curl, uh, and then also the A route on a curl and the RB route on a curl. That's all you really got to do. Block the running back, give myself a little extra protection. And this B route is just going to go right up the uh, right up the seam there. As you can see, it just runs right past. Um, although the sideline was the bigger issue than the defender. We're going to do that again. Let's go let's motion this guy across. Like I said, we're just going to curl everybody up. And then block that running back. And then for whatever reason, this B route here. Uh, it's just gone. Like I said, the sideline is really the biggest issue as, I, as I'm just not getting the pass lead up the field that I want. But you can see he's getting by for a very big play. So if I ran this play from all the way to the sideline, it'd probably be an even easier one-play touchdown. And then the PA scissors play also has a lot of success against just random zone concepts because you have that high-low route. So I'm just going to pick random nickel. This play here can have a lot of success just going to the, uh, the running back and the tight end. As you can see, this flat route. That's why I was saying make sure you switch this out to an actual speed running back. You can see you can have success right there. That's typically going to be the look under uh, most zones you can see the zones drop back uh, based off of the receiver and the tight end pulling the coverage back so you can steal that all game yeah the x route there is a good check down also especially in man coverages um, but you know that's probably your best man beater uh, but I, I really say that you know I'm really just looking at the uh, the routes on the other side but if you if you read man I mean if it's zone I'm going to the right side if it's man uh, the the the, uh, the x receiver is probably going to be the best way to go so if it's a zone coverage I'm really just reading the the running back or the fullback versus the tight end if it's a man coverage I'm pretty much always going to switch over to the x route although the x route here is pretty good check down also uh, and if you're running this play a lot your opponent's users are going to leave the middle of the field so if they're if they're freelancing outside because of these outside routes uh, that you're constantly hitting, uh, then the X route's going to be a good uh, a good play against the user. So we're going to do that one more time. Here we got that man blitz. Like I said, anytime I read man, anytime I read a tight coverage, I'm going to write that X route. Go to do that one more time. And then, like I said, this can set up, even though I haven't really hit the tight end yet, you can really set this up with all the same one-play touchdowns that I already showed. So I'm not really going to go over the one-play touchdown setups because they're the exact same from the PA deep cross. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Niners playbook, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.